IKEA's floor plan is crafted with human psychology in mind to guide you through a maze of furniture you may or may not need. It's a purposeful plan to get you to buy more. But it's not just physical stores that use this technique. Amazon's website was meticulously designed to get you to spend more. We'll look at some of the ways Amazon gets you to spend more than you initially thought you might. This is Why You Buy, the show that reveals how marketers plan human psychology to get you to spend more and gives you the tools to spend smarter. I'm Kristen Scholler. In 2018, 1.8 billion people made online purchases around the world. To capitalize on this ever-growing market, companies are changing how their sites are designed using principles of behavioral economics. Amazon, in particular, combines individual user data with principles of human psychology to create an experience that results in a higher chance of purchase. In the very most basic term, they make it easy for you to spend a lot of money. and. Amazon goes to great lengths in order to make the shopping experience highly targeted. Amazon uses several behavioral economic principles to do just that and gets its users to buy. Here are just a few. Amazon makes it very clear just how many items are left in stock. What this does is raise the perceived value of the item, making shoppers more likely to buy. You'll see notes beside products that say only three left or something to that effect in order to get you to move a little quicker. If you've been looking for a pair of sneakers and you found some that you're pretty sure you're going to like, you were planning to look a little bit more, but you find out that that light blue color in your size, there's only two pair left, you're probably going to go ahead and buy that. Amazon will also tell you if or when an item will be restocked. This transparency allows Amazon to gain a customer's trust and loyalty to the brand. Amazon's site displays visual cues that use time to create a sense of urgency within a buyer. For example, order within text and a countdown timer make a shopper more likely to make an impulse buy. And recently, Amazon made these impulse buys even easier. These products don't end up in the shopping cart per Amazon's usual shopping experience. Instead, they're shipped as soon as the button is clicked. The one-click buy button has reportedly increased Amazon's profits by 30%. When you click into a product page on Amazon, you'll see the product and its anchor price listed next to it. Oftentimes, that price will be lined out or reduced. That's a form of price anchoring. Price anchoring is the practice of getting customers familiar with price points when making purchase decisions. Oftentimes, that price is higher than the actual sale price. Amazon uses anchoring in three ways. One is you'll see the save X percent for subscribe and save. That's giving them that option, you know, looking at the anchor price and then you're getting that discount. One is with coupons that they clearly mark under the prices. You know, here's your $24.99, that's your anchor price, and then you're going to get $5 off that coupon. So they're, they're making a deduction. And one is with lining out prices. And it doesn't necessarily say it's a sale. It just has $16.99 lined through, and then the current price is $14.99. And there's an assumption there that this is a limited time sale, even though it doesn't say that. So if you're shopping for a pair of sneakers that retail for $100 and see Amazon's price at $85, bucks, you are more likely to purchase that item as it's considered to be a good deal. Or if there's a $3 price reduction on an item or $20, it can make the shopper more likely to purchase said item. Every company's homepage is different, customized by an algorithm based on your behavior. Even if you've never shopped at Amazon before, it isn't gonna take them but 60 seconds to be able to start targeting not only products to you, but also the experience to you, which is helpful for customers. Yes, it does help make Amazon a lot of money, but it also makes for a better shop or experience for the customers. For example, if you begin to search for coffee in the Amazon search bar, you'll see prompts for coffee makers, grinders, filters, and pots, all within the search results. The recommended items aren't necessarily catered to you specifically though. Those are the most popular items Amazon is selling, the ones that they are making a lot of money on. The other thing that customers probably don't realize is that one of the highest ranking factors in Amazon's search algorithm is sales history. 
So if you're looking for a new brand on Amazon, it probably won't show up as much as a brand with a proven sales history. Last is social proof. Perhaps the most infamous tactic Amazon employs is the review. It's become a staple of user experience. When people are in the middle of buying something, whether other people like it or not is a huge buying factor and a huge psychological factor. We love to do what other people love to do. And if everyone seems not to like a particular product or for that matter, if they don't like a movie, if they don't like a political candidate or anything else in life, that sways folks quite a bit in one direction or the other. We trust user reviews because the shoppers have experienced the product or service, unlike potential buyers. Amazon furthers the use of social proof with bestsellers and Amazon choice flags, highlighting items that are highly popular with customers. So next time you add something to your Amazon cart, be sure to keep these principles in mind. Like any e-commerce site, they're in the business of selling you items you may or may not need, like this yodeling pickle. Thanks for watching Why You Buy. I'm Kristen Scholler. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.